This is the City Commission for Neighbors Meeting Action Roundup for April 16, 2024. This was a City Commission regular meeting on April 16, 2024. All nine City Commissioners were present for this meeting. Ordinance Introductions These come back to the Commission at a future meeting for a final vote. Ordinance 05-2024 Consider updates to Chapter 1610 in the City Ordinances around burning and the International Fire Code to meet requirements by the International Fire Code and State of Michigan law. There are a few significant changes. One is that the city will no longer charge for burn permits. Those are currently $25. Second, the city can charge a fee to neighbors who do not put out a fire when directed by the Battle Creek Fire Department. The city will still allow recreational fires with strict rules about their size and distance from buildings. The city still does not allow burning of leaves and grass clippings within city limits. This ordinance introduction was approved 9 to 0. Ordinance 06-2024. Consider developing a community oversight board, which has been under discussion for several years. The board's purpose would be to give input on community relations complaint investigations filed with the police department. They could also discuss police officer conduct without a complaint and would be proactive in seeing potential problems and building relationships with law enforcement. If this ordinance is introduced and adopted, a timeline would follow to seek board members, train those members, and potentially hold a first meeting in late summer or early fall. This ordinance introduction was approved 9 to 0. Ordinance Adoption these were introduced at a previous meeting prior to this final vote. Ordinance 04-2024. Consider updating the city's historic preservation code to address a challenge the city sometimes has, appointing a full group of members to the various boards and commissions. For the Historic District Commission, an extra challenge is the specific knowledge and expertise required of the members. Right now, the code limits HDC members to two consecutive three-year terms. Most boards and commissions do not have term limits, so this ordinance would remove the limit for the HDC. This was introduced at the April 2nd City Commission regular meeting. This ordinance adoption was approved 7-2 to two, with Commissioners Ballard and Morris voting no. Consent Agenda the consent agenda for April 16th includes minutes from previous meetings, the city manager's report for the evening, and resolutions 407 to 415. Briefly, the resolutions on the consent agenda offer consideration of the following. Resolution 407. Consider appointing Randy Case as a new member to the Historic District Commission. Resolution 408. Consider reappointing Jack McCulley from serving as an alternate to fill a vacancy on the Zoning Board of Appeals. Resolution 409. Consider reappointing John Avery to the Gogwak Lake Board. Resolution 410. Consider reappointing Thomas Burke to the Downtown Parking System Advisory Committee. Resolution 411. Consider appointing one new member, Kyron Herring, to the Northeast Neighborhood Planning Council, MPC number 4. Resolution 412. Consider setting a public hearing during the City Commission regular meeting on May 7th to take comments on a proposed tax exemption for a new spec building on Watkins Road in an industrial development district. Resolution 413. Consider making a temporary traffic control order permanent. For the last 60 days, that temporary order was to create a no parking zone around the new city election ballot drop box on Beckwith Drive next to Fire Station 6. 
Resolution 414. Consider a contract to buy Sig Sauer rifles from Acme Sport Incorporated for the police department. After trade-in, this would cost an estimated $55,472. Resolution 415. Consider buying new constant current regulators for the Battle Creek Executive Airport, equipment that helps operate airfield lighting. This would be from Cooper Cross Hines, LLC, at a maximum cost of $63,764. The consent agenda was approved 9 to 0. Regular Resolutions Resolution 416 Consider flying the Blue Star Mother's Flag at City Hall for the month of May. Mayor Banky made this flag request with support from Commissioners Reynolds and O'Donnell. This resolution was approved 7-2 to two, with both Commissioner Simmons and Vice Mayor Sophia voting no. Resolution 417 Consider an agreement with the Michigan Department of Transportation giving them temporary access to a city-owned property with a section of Linear Park Path on it. This is for MDOT's project to improve crosswalk safety on M66 between Michigan Avenue and Van Buren Street. MDOT plans to start that work in summer 2025. Resolution 418. Consider a contract with MDOT for a special traffic study to look at safety and mobility along Beckley Road and B Drive North. MDOT's contribution would be about $10,300. This is part of the city's ongoing assessment of the Beckley Corridor to look at potential future redevelopment and improvements. Both of these resolutions were approved 9 to 0. Resolution 419. Consider an interlocal agreement with Calhoun County to share the cost of the traffic study on Beckley Road and B Drive North from Resolution 418. The county's contribution would be $30,000 and the city's share would be $53,375. Resolution 420. Consider a license agreement with Marathon Petroleum for environmental assessment and remediation for access to Lacey Street for 15 years. This is related to cleanup and monitoring of a former Speedway gas station on West Michigan Avenue. Both of these resolutions were approved 9 to 0. Resolution 421. Consider this year's chip seal project to maintain streets in the Lamora Park neighborhood in the city. The lowest responsive responsible bid came from Pavement Maintenance Systems, LLC, for a cost of about $304,000. Resolution 422. Consider buying night vision binoculars for the Battle Creek Police Department from Venture Tactical, LLC, at an estimated cost of $153,555. Both of these resolutions were approved 9 to 0. Resolution 423. Consider accepting the proposal of best value for security services in City Hall and the downtown parking ramps from Lagarda Security at an estimated cost of $239,373 for an initial one year and two months. The additional two months help it line up with the city's budget year. Resolution 424. Consider this year's milling and paving road projects planned for various roads in the southwest part of the city, plus a small project at the Battle Creek Executive Airport. The lowest responsive responsible bid was from Reith Riley Construction for an estimated cost of $747,315. Both of these resolutions were approved 9 to 0. Resolution 425. Consider the proposal of best value from Mead and Hunt for consultant services for the air traffic control tower rehab project at the city's Battle Creek Executive Airport. The estimated cost is $140,466. Resolution 426. 
consider a grant agreement with Battle Creek Area Habitat for Humanity to develop and resell two single-family homes in the city to low and moderate income families. The properties are on North Cedar Avenue and North Woodlawn Avenue. The funds come from the city's federal home investment partnership dollars, which are for these types of projects. Both of these resolutions were approved nine to zero. Resolution 427. Consider moving $557,000 of the city's community development block grant funds to the city's and community actions minor home repair programs as discussed in the public hearing earlier in the April 16th City Commission regular meeting. This resolution was approved 9 to 0. Resolution 428. Consider affirming the city's partial denial of a Freedom of Information Act request. The person requested, in part, plans for the city's water supply system to Ford's Blue Oval development in Marshall Township, including pipe sizes and operating pressures. The city denied part of this request because public water supply designs are exempt from disclosure to protect system safety and security. This resolution was approved 8 to 1 with Commissioner Smith voting no. Note, with the approval of Resolution 428 affirming the partial denial of Freedom of Information Act request number 24-471, Resolution 429 was pulled from the agenda, which would have been a vote to reverse the denial. Thank you for joining the City of Battle Creek Communications team for another City Commission Meeting Action Roundup video. Be kind and be well.